Page 125, A Classic Tale. This is a piece in F major. It gives us some more opportunities to play in the key of F major. Let's look at it. 4-4 four, four time, treble and bass clef, one flat, all B's are going to be flatted. Eighth notes at the beginning. You're starting on fourth finger. One and two and three and four. And remember that's fourth finger on the B flat. One and two and three and now to the end of a phrase, just lift up and move. The end of the line, it's the end of a phrase, lift up and move. And just that pretty much it. It's pretty simple. The third line, you have this different notes, but it's about the same rhythm, so play those. Now, I know it's a bit awkward in this fingering to come down to the fourth finger here. That's a stretch. Just relax the thumb and just move the hand over. And in some of these pieces, or some of these places in this piece, you don't really need to finger the fourth finger. You could come over and put the third finger on. It's like the third line down. You could, third finger's fine. But we need the practice at this fourth finger thing, so I encourage you to use their fingering here. I'm, I'm not going to change anything here. In the left hand we have the chords. The, the F chord, the C7 chord. You get down to the third line, then we have the B flat chord. So we just have these chords. And you're okay until you get down to the bottom in the last line. So we have the B flat chord and the F chord. And then in the third measure you have this chord. What is this? It's a G7 chord. See, a seventh chord has four notes in it, but we ne generally only use three of them. We don't have to use all the notes. So here, they're using all four of them. Isn't that neat? What you do is you take that F and put it on top, and that's the chord. It's a G7 chord, because that's an interval of a seventh between them. So it's a G chord with a seventh added, a G7 chord. We just turned it over and put the F on the bottom. That's all that is. You'll learn to recognize it. It's so much easier just to recognize that as a chord and play it than to try and figure out all those notes every time. And then finally you get your C7 chord. Yeah. But you have that B natural there. Do they have a natural sign in front of the B? If they didn't have the natural sign there, it would be a B flat because there's a B flat in the signature. Like so, and that's not what they want. Dynamic wise, it's loud at the beginning, and that's the melody, so keep these chords soft. Keep the chords down. We want to hear the melody. You get down to the third line. Now it's just moderately loud, not quite so loud. Then you have a crescendo there, the last two measures of the third line. They don't tell you how loud to get, just crescendo up but too loud. And then at the last line, now you're going to be loud because you crescendoed. They didn't tell you to do anything different, so now we're loud. And you can just stay there for the rest of the line. And that's the dynamics, I think. As far as the road map goes, where you go, when you go, whatever. At the bottom, you see the DC all fine. DC means go back to the beginning. Simple as that. Just go back to the beginning. All fine means go to fine. Fine. It's not fine. It's fine. It's Italian. Fine. End. Finish. Kaput. Done. Over. No more. That's. And the fine is the end of the second line. You see it above the staff. So you simply go back to the beginning and play the first two lines again. So the road map is play all four lines and then go back and do the first two lines again. Simple as that. That's the thing. I'd like to play it with you slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. So I'll give us four counts and let's play this. Your left hand is pretty much staying anchored in this area. You just got your chord you're dealing with. Whatever. The right hand you move around a little bit. But if you can do the F major scale, this is not a problem because this fingering at the beginning, it's, that's the fingering in an F major scale. We just didn't go all the way down to the F. We just 
do the scale. It'll help you out on these keys. I'll give us four counts. Let's play this together. One, two, ready and go and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and